Hey guys, it's Ornlu, and today I'm going to talk to you about a happy little box. And that is the box that is right here. Talking about the map pool. Uh, I've done guides on all of the new maps, and that, that was pretty well received by people. But now I want to talk more... Why the hell is that thing going off? What? I'm not streaming. What the hell? <laughs> okay, I guess someone decided to uh, to follow, even though it's like not even I wasn't even streaming at all today. That's funny. Anyway, anyway, so the idea of okay, so in DE we have a ranked map pool. We hit the find match button, we have our map bands, and then you know go. This is of course different than the lobby browser that existed on. Vubly, uh, where all, all, uh, most of the competitive stuff happened, but also existed on HD, of course. And this is how people were used to playing ranked match games. You look for your, you know, you look for your game, okay, this, you want to play Arena, you know, you're a noob, so you join this game, blah, 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 blah. And then you could do that, and it would still be ranked. Obviously, in DE, you cannot do that. The idea is to sort of streamline the whole process for people to find games, which is good. Um, you want to make it as accessible as possible for people to play ranked. You know, if you, like, see a whole lobby thing here, and, like, you know, the host can, you know, determine, oh, okay, I don't want you in my game, you have few games, you're a smurf. I mean, that happened a lot on Voobly. Um Yeah, that's, that's not really a thing with ranked. But... There is a downside, of course, in that people like playing Age of Empires in a lot of different ways. It's what makes this game so great. Uh, there are so many different ways you can play the games. 1v1 team game, obviously you have your free-for-alls or uh, versus AI and whatever random settings will, you can find here. Custom scenarios. Um, yeah, like all, all that stuff. Pilgrims. You can't do that in ranked. At least you can't compete for your, your wonderful internet points that everybody, including myself, cherishes so dearly. And that ha makes a lot of people unhappy. People who would want, you know, their eight bands or whatever so they can only play Arabia. Oh no, you only have four bands. So you, you're oftentimes forced to play maps that you might not like. And that's not good. People should be able to play Age of Empires how they want to play. However, the flip side is that people who want to play things that aren't Arabia, or Arena, or Black Forest, or Nomad, essentially, you know, the, the most popular maps, they'll often have a very, very hard time doing so. And there are people out there who don't like playing Arabia or Arena. I, it's crazy to me, but... You know, people should be able to play Age of Empires they, the way they want to. That's the whole point of this, right? And so I guess I just want to talk about the positives and negatives associated with this and what potential improvements there are there, there, there are out there. Yeah. Because a lot of people, especially right now, are not happy with the ranked map pool. Because, let's go through this. Arabia, it's the classic map you most people like it. Islands, people don't like water. At least a lot of people don't like water. I like playing islands, but a lot of people don't. Arena, again, some people like it. Some people hate it. It can it can produce very long games. Um, people don't. People want aggression. They don't want to sit behind walls. Other people love arena, of course. Those people are very very fondly referred to as clowns. <laughs> uh, Nomad, same deal. Like I hate Nomad one v one. I think it's really boring. It's it's. Completely a big mirror fest, Persian mirrors, maybe the stray Malians, but very little civ diversity. And it can have very, very imbalanced games, which you don't really want in a 1v1. Like for, for Nomad 1v1, it's like if you get a bad map and your opponent gets a good map, it's like, okay, you lose. In a team game scenario, like especially if like with your classic big Nomad 4v4, if one person gets a bad start, then the chances are you know, someone else on the other team has a bad start, or, you know, we have a teammate with a super good start, or, you know, there, there's a lot more uh, 
pillow, like cushioning of, it, you know, somebody having a bad start. You know, you have teammates to help help you out or opponents who also might be in a similar situation. You don't have that for 1v1. So, like, I always ban Nomad 1v1. Hillfort. Um, it's a map I think that's a lot better for team games than it is for 1v1. With team games, it's kind of like Acropolis, but it's uh, you're a little bit safer early on. And I think, you know, it encourages at least some degree of aggression from, you know, raiding on the sides and stuff like that. But for 1v1, it's like a big old, okay, Mayan, Spanish, maybe Mongols if you're feeling extra bold, maybe Berbers. Like, it's just your fast castle unique unit civs, and, and a lot of people don't really like that. It's not the the most diverse map in the world for 1v1s. Then you have Mega Random. Instaban always. I don't I don't like not knowing what I'm getting into. Uh, it means you can't pick a sieve that, you know, is going to be tailored to whatever map you want. Um, if you're playing random and your opponent is playing random and they just get a better sieve for the situation, like you get, you know, freaking Teutons on a water map and your opponent has Italians and you're just like, well, feels bad, man. So usually what happens is like there's... People usually go Mongols, I believe, on Mega Random, just because you are more likely to get Hunt, like lots of Hunt than not Hunt. But again, like that's not very interesting. And it's it's just so variable. I don't think it's a good competitive 1v1 map. Um, maybe if it was played on Explored, but even then you still like don't even know what you're getting into. And some people like that. And like, I think it's good that people can play that, but it's... I, it's like I always have to use one of my bands on Mega Random and Nomad because they're always in the 1v1 map pool because they are some of the most popular maps. Serengeti is just super aggressive Arabia. I mean, nothing, nothing else too much to say about that. Golden Swamp? I think Golden Swamp and Four Legs you can kind of talk about together as they're both hybrid maps. And I think people are kind of sick of hybrid maps right now, especially because before this current patch, uh, it was just a big Persian fest all the time because Persians were the best hybrid map sieve. Now there's a definitely more diversity. You can play several different sieves, but it's still not that diverse. And I think people would be a lot more okay with having these two maps in the map pool if they played them, like, in maybe 15 20% of their games, as opposed to, like, half their games. Because Nomad and Mega Random are going to get banned a ton. Islands, probably right up there as well. And that leaves very few maps that are, you know, you're going to be playing a lot. Yes, you will be getting Arabia a lot, Arena a lot, but you're going to be getting these maps a lot, and they can get old real fast if you play them a lot. So, that leads to a lot of people not being happy because they're stuck playing things they don't want to play, and you should be able to do what you want. So what are the solutions? One idea that is very popular is to make a separate queue for Arabia. Um, always Arabia and random Civ Enforce, because that's what people did on Vubly, um, at least before DE's release, and that's what I did. Uh, I personally find it a very fun and competitive way to play the game. The Arabia balance is good enough that almost all the time you'll be having at least a fair Civ matchup. And I, th I think that's the case now. I think most civs are at least viable on Arabia. And, you know, that's it's the classic map, right? It's the, the most diverse map in terms of strategies. And, yeah, it's, it's people's favorite map for a reason, right? Now, creating a separate 1v1 random civ Arabia queue would, you know, make a lot of people happy, myself included. But it does present some problems. You have the problem of, well, if that has a you know huge percentage of the player base, then the rest of the queue is going to fall by the wayside, and then people are going to probably get, uh, on average, much longer queue times for their not Arabia maps. And even then, like if you really want to play, you know, your one v one islands, you're barely ever going to be able to find a game. And for people who don't like Arabia, then like that doesn't help them at all. As well as something that I do think is good is that I think people should be encouraged to play different sorts of maps. I think that Arabia is the best map in Age of Empires, but it's not its not all there is to Age of Empires. There, there is other things, and I do like being able to play all these different funky maps 
in a map pool rotation. I, I like that. But a lot of people don't. And even myself, I would prefer it that, like, I play on Arabia, like, 50% of the games, if not a little bit more. And then not Arabia, like, the other 50%. And in this case, it's like I end up getting Golden Swamp and Four Legs, like, way more than I ever want to play, uh, personally. So it's like, how do you encourage people to play on different settings without, one, people getting super saturated with maps that they might enjoy playing occasionally, but not all the time, or they just might not enjoy playing at all. And how do you prevent it just being like, okay, you have Arabia and then sometimes Arena for 1v1s, like, and that's it. And like, maybe the occasional, uh, you know, Mega Random or Nomad game. Because then I feel like we're just losing so much of what Age of Empires has to offer. I mean, go into single player. What the hell was I doing here? I don't know what I was doing here. Probably checking something with tech trees. Um, like, look at all the maps that are here. And this is only the standard maps. Like, this doesn't even take into account all of the wonderful custom maps that are out there. Like... You know, the best map of all. Where is it? Crater Lake. Oh man, the best map ever. Why is this not in the ranked pool? True gem of a map. It's like playing Gold Rush and a uh, Baltic mixed together. So like if you lose water, there's literally no way you can ever come back. And it creates the most boring, stupid games ever. I love it. No, it's, I'm just kidding. It's a terrible map. <laughs> um, but there are good maps in here. You know, Golden Pit was in the pool for a while. Good map. Ghost Lake, good map. Uh, Cenotes is a good map. I think Budapest um, is the 2TC start map. Like, you know, it's good to have every once in a while um, just to, like, mix things up. Baltic, obviously classic. And, you know, the, the, the point being, there's a, there's a lot of good maps out there. There's also Pacific Islands, which is another horrible map. Never, ever, ever play that map. <laughs> um, and I do think there is something to be said for encouraging people to play on these sorts of maps. But not all the time, right? And I think there needs to be a way of like, oh yeah, I'd love to have Regicide Fortress in the map, in a, like, Q map pool. Uh, like, I love RF. It's a really classic game type. Um, obviously, you wouldn't want to play it on all the time. A lot of people don't like it, but it's like something that I wish I could play in ranked. And having a full-on lobby system wouldn't really help that, because who the hell wants to play Regicide Fortress ranked? Um, nor would that in the being in the map pool really help. So we're kind of at like this uh, situation where you, you can't really satisfy everybody, right? So what can you do? There are a few solutions. One is to give people up to eight bans. You know, so you can ban everything but Arabia if you want for 1v1s. That, of course, leaves the problem of, well, that could mean queue times get really long if you just ban Arabia. Because <laughs> there will be, I, I guarantee you, at least half of the player base would just instantly ban all eight other maps, no matter what they are, just so they can play 1v1 Arabia. And then you have the whole problem of, like, well, like, okay, you just want to pick Aztecs every time or something. Or, you know, freaking Huns or... Mayans or other AOC good uh, Arabia civs that can be solved with just a random queue or like seeing if your opponent goes random but that that is such a that is a problem that is easy to fix and I think they should fix just let you know if your opponent's going random or not because then we can see more civs um, but the, the more difficult problem to, to tackle is how do you how do you, one, encourage people to play different maps? Uh, two, how do you get people from playing too many of the different maps? And just how do you balance it in a fair and legitimate ranked manner without having to go th back to using the lobby system, which, again, is fairly inhibitive for people who are, like, hmm, do I want to jump into ranked? Oh, man, that's like, there are all these lobbies. Uh, which one do I want to play? Oh, man. 
Like, and then you're like in a scenario where it's like, okay, you're with a bunch of people who all know each other and then like you're just joining them and you just get kicked instantly for like no reason. I mean, that, that happened on Voobly plenty and with the size and diversity of the DE player base, that would be even more likely to happen. So I think that having a ranked queue is good. I do think that at least the solution that I would go for, and this isn't a perfect solution, I would introduce a 1v1 random queue for Arabia. And then maybe same thing for team games. Team games is a whole nother animal, right? Because Arabia is the most popular map for team games. Probably. I think so. But it would probably only be a little bit ahead of Black Forest. And then also Nomad team games and Mega Random team games are also very popular. So there is a lot more diversity here. And I think that um, for team games, this is less of an issue. Um, just because there are lots of different settings that people like. So even if you give like eight ma uh, bands for team games, it probably wouldn't be as hard to find people who want to play Arabia team games or Black Forest team games or Nomad team games, etc. But for 1v1, I think it would be cool if like you had the 1v1 random queue, right? For Arabia. And then for the other queue, you had some sort of incentive to play it, right? What that incentive would be, I don't know. I mean, it could just be something cosmetic. Like, oh, you know, you have all these cosmetic options. I, like, never check this thing, by the way. Like, you have all these player icons and stuff. You know, you could add in hero icons. I know I would do whatever it takes to get an Ornlu the Wolf player icon. That'd be sick. I mean, I, I just, uh, I just insta-locked the wolf icon day one and then haven't looked back since. I, don't, I Like, I don't even know most of these. I guess it's just all of the units. Yeah, I guess. But, I mean, just doing stuff like that. There are probably other more sophisticated and intelligent ways of going about that um, that I just can't think of right now. But at least I think that's a start. Adding in pointless cosmetics is always a great way to, great way to incentivize people to try new things. Because I do think it's good for people to try new things. Because, you know, you might really like playing Arabia, but you also might realize that you also like playing Arena. Or you also like playing Islands, you know? If you are never pushed to try new things, then you might be missing out. Of course, that doesn't mean you should be forced to continuously do things you don't like, obviously. That's that's the whole point of this, right? So I'm really interested to hear what you guys think in the comments, because this is a solution, or this is a problem without any clear-cut solution. I mean, there might be a clear-cut solution that fits, you know, your specific wants in the game, but it that solution doesn't necessarily help everybody, right? And we're trying to think of, from a dev's perspective, what what can they do to most appease everybody? And like I said, I have some idea of a solution, but it's not like a great one. And yeah, I'm definitely interested to have a dialogue on this. That's why I'm, you know, I make these sorts of discussion videos and I think it's good and people like that. And yeah, definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, what what would you think would be the best way that you can both enjoy Age of Empires the way you want to play it, while also respecting uh, that other people might want to play it in a different way? Um, so yeah, definitely go ahead and do that. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. I always have beautiful outros, don't I?